Today we are not playing it safe. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're gonna be cracking safes and eating nasty crackers because this episode is all about security. That's why I've hired a security guard, learned karate, and brought my special blankie. I usually just bring my special blankie. That's also why NordVPN is sponsoring today's episode. NordVPN is the world's most advanced VPN, that's virtual private network, and it provides the best possible security to protect all of your data online. In fact, NordVPN uses military grade encryption, which was used by the US government to secure classified information and by the NSA to protect national security data. Hmm. But around here, we not only need to keep our internet secure, we need to keep our food secure too. We have our exclusive assortment of edible testicles and we can't have those exposed to the general public. No, we cannot. But today, we're gonna crack our safes wide open. It's time for Don't Be a Slacker, Crack That Safe So Your Cracker Ain't Whacker. Sponsored by NordVPN. Within this safe is secured a cracker topped with something tasty. Whoever cracks the safe gets to eat it, but whoever doesn't is stuck eating a cracker hidden under this cloche that's topped with something nasty. Mm -hmm. Now Stevie is gonna ask us multiple choice security themed questions with answers that are always going to be numbers. Stevie also has a camera dedicated to her. Hey Stevie! This is new. Yeah, hey guys. All right, whoever buzzes in first gets to enter their answer into the safe. If it's right, it will open and the other guy has to eat the nasty. If it's wrong, the other guy gets a chance to crack the safe. If we both get it wrong, we both have to eat the nasty. Yes. Well, let's get cracking. Okay, let's find out what the nasty cracker is. Okay. Uh, what is that? That is sour plum jam, umeboshi plum. Ooh, Ooh okay. Umeboshi. So not too nasty. Yeah. No, but what's inside is really good and you're really gonna want it. Okay, go for it. The most difficult safes to crack open can be found at banks, but that didn't stop Steve Millam, a bank robber who successfully robbed 11 banks before getting caught. Steve earned the nickname the Handsome Guy Bandit because he wore a Hollywood caliber latex mask as a disguise. How much did this latex mask cost? A, $35, B, $200, or C, $800? Leak! Leak. <laughs> uh, 35, 200, or $800. I mean, that is a pixelated photo, but when, where does the mask stop and his head begin? I think it goes down to the nipples. So it's, it's secured on the nipples. <laughs> right, it's Hollywood caliber. Yeah, yeah, all Hollywood masks are secured to the nipples. <laughs> right, so I'm tempted to say 800, which means I'm gonna go with 200. Okay. Zero, 200 dollars. Let me have it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. Did you think it was 200? Yes. <laughs> you did? I know. But you know what? I'm tempted to now try 800. I, it, might, just, it might be 200. Uh, I don't think so. I think Two tries. Like, I think it's 800. Zero, eight, mm, mm. Oh! <laughs> yes. What is it? I'll just take just the thing out. Ooh. Is this surf and turf? Yeah, it is. I've got a surf and turf cracker? Dang it, son. Boy, it pays to go second. No, don't it. touch me with your nasty. I just want to dink it a little. No, 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 no All dinking. Right. All right. No dinking for Lincoln. Should I do the whole, yeah, I should do the whole thing like sushi. Woo! It's so sour that it just tastes like salt. Mm. You wouldn't think you should mix beef with lobster until you try it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we got this round. It's green. Uh, that's wasabi paste, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's gonna hurt someone. But let's see who it's gonna hurt, shall we? <laughs> like a lot. It might hurt both of them. I bet there's something even better under here. All right. When it comes to cybersecurity, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, hasn't done a very good job protecting itself. They caused quite a stink when an internal email was leaked to the public, which warned of EPA employees involved in inappropriate bathroom incidents, including an individual placing feces in the hallway. What year did this email leak? 1998? 2009? Oh, Brett. 
<sighs> now you don't even get to hear the third choice, Mr. Quick Buzzer. <laughs> That's right. I don't know about this story, but I'm just thinking about when, you know, spreading your feces was popular. <laughs> And be, to the best of my knowledge, that was 2009. Mm. Ah! 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 <laughs> okay, so what, what are all my choices? A, 1998, B, 2009, or C, 2014. Okay, I feel like if this was 2014, I would remember it. Of course, I was alive for all of these dates. Yeah, you were. That's the, inter that's the interesting thing. It's a crapshoot. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go with 1998. Oh, <laughs> date, it was 2014? Uh-huh. Uh. We both have to eat this. Yes, we don't even get it. We don't even know we what's in here. But I know, you know what the code is? 2014. <laughs> okay. I'll dink this one. I don't care if it gets soiled. Here you go. Dink it. Dink oh, it. That was it. I was trying to wipe mine on there. And okay. sink it. Uh uh. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I can't swallow it. I think my nose is going to fall off. <coughs> 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 A bit scared uh, after what we just experienced. Yeah, that was that was difficult. Well, three loaves of something that looks that's like pate. No, that's clay. Oh, well, <laughs> but it's clay pate. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. The most ramped up security in America can usually be found at the airport. In 2016, at the Detroit Metro Airport, the TSA detected an oversized bottle of liquor from a passenger. Not only was the bottle of liquor prohibited but so were the dead, endangered seahorses that were floating inside. Hmm. How many dead seahorses were there? Hmm. A, two, <laughs> Link. I didn't mean to buzz that quick. <laughs> well, hopefully it's two. I, I guess I'm going for two. <laughs> <laughs> it's not two, Link. It ain't two. It's more than two. The other choices are Five or 18? Ooh. Mm. 18 seahorses is a lot. 18 is too many seahorses for one bottle, just in my expert opinion. Seahorses don't like crowds. I've only seen them in crowds, and they so, can be pretty small. So I'm going with five. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> what I got here? Is that just a peanut butter uh, cracker? Yeah, that's just peanut butter. Oh, <laughs> oh, give me a little bit of the peanut butter. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go clay side down. Think about clay aching while you're eating it. That'll make, that'll make it easier. Right, what do we have here? Oh. oh my gosh, that's a lot of worm. Is that one worm or two worms per cracker? That's oh, too much I'm being worm. told it's three worms per cracker. Oh gosh. Wow. It's an earthworm? Yeah. Oh no, it's two. Chase lied to me. Okay, two worms per cracker. Two worms is, is enough. In Surrey, Canada, a Domino's delivery guy was caught on a security camera inside of an elevator eating toppings from a customer's pizza. How many toppings did he eat? A, one, B, four, you think he ate four toppings? I think he ate one topping because if you're gonna steal toppings, you're like, oh, I really like olives or I really like something that's easy to pick off, but you don't do all four, you just do one. I mean, how many toppings can a pizza have? More than that, of course. <laughs> so I'm, I, gonna, I'm going with one. Go for it. Ah! Yeah, okay. Would you like all the choices? Then? I would love to hear all of the options. <sighs> okay, well, all three of them are one, four, or seven. Seven times is a lot. That's a lot of toppings. I mean, how many toppings can a pizza have? I think it's really, what, what, is the, what makes the most viral video? Is four enough to make a viral video so that we're talking about this years later? Because uh. um, you go in, oh, that's a laugh, and then you go in, rule of threes and one. <laughs> I'm going with four toppings. Yes! Ugh. Yes! I meant to do that. 
<sighs> okay, guys. Uh, inside that, I mean, on top of that cracker, inside of the safe is bacon jam and bacon. Oh. And That's, before you eat that, great. here's I'm a so video relieved. of the guy eating the toppings. Here he goes. He put it on the floor of the elevator? Oh, he's eating one? Oh, there's another one. Hey, a guy's got to eat, you know? Three? Oh, so one he didn't more, get... Four? Oh, okay. Four yeah. individual toppings. Okay. okay. What, Pete? <laughs> I was thinking a different thing. <laughs> I was know. thinking he ate all the Those olives. Those were all olives, so you were technically correct. No, you weren't. I think I might be technically correct, but we need a high def replay. Yeah. I just put a worm on your bacon. Well, you touched it. I'm fine. I'm cool with that. Fine with it. Oh my gosh! Don't you hate yourself? <laughs> but you know what, bacon. Mmm. Boy, smoky. This is smoky too. Goodness. This is not goodness. Can you get it down? It's gonna be a while. One more cracker. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What is that? Is that a whole testicle? Yes. It looks like a human. They're they're really big for what animal it actually is. Oh, is it like a rabbit or something? It's a turkey. I mean, what? those are large. Turkey's balls. got big nuts. Yeah. Dang. All right, let's see who has to eat one of these. Security is one of the most important issues these days, and no one does security better than Kevin James in Paul Blart Mall Cop. Yeah. (laughs) What is the Rotten Tomatoes score of this film? Ah! Is it A, 32%, B, 19%, or C, 4%? Rhett. Now, have you seen this movie? No. Have you seen the Rotten Tomatoes page for this movie? No. Good. Uh, I haven't either. Okay, this is Paul Blart, Mall Cop number one. This is not Paul Blart two. This is number one. Because I think two is probably four. Four is so low. Can your first movie in a comedic series that ends up having a second one be a four? How could they green light? I don't think so, but I think a 19. A 19 feels like a good, safe answer. Let's go with 19. No! 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 It's a four! It's a freaking four! Why do they make a second one? Unless it's not a four. I have to eat a turkey testicle. Paul Blart, help me. I'm going with 32%. Yes! That cracker is so good, too. It's a funnel cake cracker. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, you really got the the raw end of the stick. Well, it's just below the stick. Yeah, the scrotum, they call it. Oh, gosh. Now, I th- I'm, I think that might explode in your mouth. Oh, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping it's got a nice pop. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to is the pop of the testicle in my mouth. Bite it in half if you want to. Really? Yeah, I kind of want to see. Oh, gosh, it smells like a ball. <laughs> Paul Blart. Oh, ooh, I almost can't eat this. I'd rather eat Kevin James nut. (laughs) That can be arranged. I want you to swallow it. I'm trying, man. (laughs) You can do it. Oh, <laughs> thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's episode. And if you want to get the absolute best internet security out there, click the link in the description for a special GMM discount on a NordVPN subscription. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm not shaking your hand. What's up, Brand Link? My name is Jonathan from New Jersey. And here is my take on Rhett's favorite snack from college. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You need more cheese, that's all I'm gonna say. (laughs) Click the top link to watch us eat the weirdest viewer submitted cracker toppings and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We wrote a book, then we wrote our names in it. What comes next is up to you. We suggest buying it. The limited edition signed book of mythicality is available now at mythical.store.